It hasn't been long since the controversy over banning the use of plastic bags. The town of Bisbee banned retailers from offering plastic bags to their customers, but a state law lifted the restriction. Now cities across the southwest are looking toward more sustainable practices. Cronkite News Los Angeles reporter Book de Gumbia takes us to Malibu to see their policies in action. I swam out 50 yards, dove underneath, and there was a bunch of garbage on the bottom, all plastic. Straws, plastic bottles, just, it, was, it was bad. In a city known for its 21 miles of beaches, sprawling mansions, and celebrity residents, Malibu is continuing its fight against plastic waste. Malibu is one of the first cities in California to ban the use of plastic bags, with the rest of the state following years later. Now the ritzy beach enclave is leading the pack once again, this time restricting the use of plastic utensils. Matt Meyerhoff participates in California beach cleanups. Of the things that I picked up myself, probably 90% of them were some sort of plastic. Little bits and pieces of polystyrene foam, like from coffee cup and mostly takeout food containers. Starting June 1st, a law will go into effect restricting all 65 Malibu restaurants from providing plastic cutlery to customers. The city is shifting to biodegradable options. We have metal, we have glass, we have paper, and and there's also pasta straws. Plastic takes up to 450 years to fully decompose. As a result, much of it ultimately ends up in the ocean, causing continuous harm to marine life. This Santa Monica business owner recognized the plastic problem and recently switched to glass bottles. But he doesn't think plastic alternatives will become mainstream for one reason, economics. It's um, almost triple the price. But Malibu officials hope this new law will eventually yield the same kind of results the plastic bag ban has. And then after a number of years, everybody drives around with the reusable shopping bags in the trunk of their car. And now when you're at the supermarket, you see everybody using them. It's pretty rare for people to actually not have anything like that. That's what we really want people to do is you keep a little kit with a fork and a knife and a spoon oh, wow. and a straw in your car. And they have ones with, in little cases. Outlawing plastic cutlery and straws is a small step in solving a massive problem. But city officials and residents say they're determined to initiate change. I'm glad that they uh, really got it done and maybe be uh, a showcase to other cities. In Malibu, Brooke DeGumbia, Cronkite News.